two weeks. But you know, Carl, it does sound funny hearing you call it your country. I keep forgetting you're not English. <laughs> Sometimes I, well, I feel almost English. Well, myself. That's, that's natural. After all, you can't be at Oxford three years without feeling slightly British. After all you've said about her, I don't blame you. Your brother is not coming today, Herr Rudnetsch? Oh, yes, he'll be along soon, Gretchen. Nothing can keep Marty away from this good beer. <laughs> Nothing except a good-looking woman. Jawohl! <laughs> that brother of yours, he's a naughty boy. But I like him. <laughs> he has a way with him, eh, Gretchen? <laughs> you, you don't know half of it. <laughs> Another conquest for Monty. Yes. I don't know why he wants to mess about with every woman he meets. Yeah, but you have Helen. Not at all sure. I'm not half good enough for her. She must be a wonderful girl. Oh, she is. She's marvelous. We'll have to meet her when we get back to Oxford. I'd like to. Would you like to see what she looks like? Yes. I didn't know you had a photograph of her. Yeah, neither does Helen. <laughs> I took it myself when she wasn't looking. Really? Oh. Stunning, isn't she? Why, she's marvelous. Get all your blinders. Hello, it's Monty. Beat the counters. Step up, gents, the one and only. Now, Monty, don't, please. Oh, it's all right. This little pretzel doesn't understand a word of English. No. <laughs> Gretchen. Yeah. Bye, Snell. <laughs> Found it in the museum. <laughs> She's a work of art, all right. You should have left her there. Don't you need to? I say, Monty, why do you bring around this sword? Bring her? <laughs> Good heavens, I can't get rid of her. <laughs> Go home, will you? 
Go home. Oh, but dog and <laughs> You say I'm stuck. <laughs> Hello, who's the dowager? That's Helen. Oh, but of course that's only a snapshot. Wait till you meet her. Oh, yeah? Go away! <laughs> but that didn't see. <laughs> I say, this is getting serious. I've got to get rid of her. Oh, you know, I have a very important engagement in just 15 minutes. I say, you chaps, be, be sporting and take her off my hand. Huh? But after all, Marty, Listen, we may we be know. sporting, but we're not people-minded. Well, you can do what you please with her. I'm going. Hey, listen, hey, Marty. I'll quit her saying, meine Ungebetene. Mouth size, Just a minute now, please. Leave it to me. Yeah. I'll get rid of her. Please, yes. No. Yes. No, my friend. Oh, she's enjoying going to the house. Yeah. Bring me some red shirts for some. Nice. 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 No. No. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Pretty boy, you please me very much. It is nothing. I am not at home to anyone except my husband. And he is away on army business. He will not be home for hours. So you see... Charmy. Ruhig. But really, I, I say you mustn't think that... Your name? My name is uh, uh, Rutledge, sir. You are stopping in Munich? At the Hotel Barisher Hof, sir. My seconds will call on you later. I say, you... There is nothing further to discuss. Sailing, sailing over the bounding main For many a wintry wind shall blow Ere Jack comes home again Hello. Sailing, sailing. Where are you going? England. England. Why, well, we're not going back for ten days. What's wrong? Baron von Trenz. Who's he? Oh, he's just a friend of mine. Really? Quite a social success, aren't you? How do you meet these barons? Well, unfortunately, I met this one through his wife. And this means... A duel. Can you imagine it? Running away? Oh, don't be an ass, Roy. You don't expect me to go through with a farce like this. But, Marty, it's the only thing you can do. Oh, there you go again. I suppose when a woman's no good and her husband finds it out, I've got to get shot just because it's the honorable thing to do. Well, what do you think people will say? You'll never live it down. What do I care what people say? Well, you can talk all you like, Marty, but you can't walk out like this. Can't I? Goodbye. See you at Oxford. Hello, Roy. Hello, Carl. Well, what's up? Where's Monty? He's gone to England. England? Well, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. But I say... Heretic?
Herr Ratsch? Yes. Von Richter. Von Slieven. We represent Colonel Baron von Kranz. Yes. Have you chosen your second? According to custom, we have selected for time and place. You have the choice of weapons. What is your choice? What is then loaf with them cattle? What is this? Golden hour. Why, that's a famous dueling place near here. It says at four o'clock tomorrow morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Well, how did this happen? I'm I'm sorry, Carl. I I lost my temper with one of your officers. But Roy, hey, Carl, do you know how to be a second? Bitte wählen Sie. Bitte? Herr Pierre, Herr Pierre, Herr Pierre, kommen Sie. Sie sind 20 Schritt. Ihre Partei steht auf dieser Linie. Auf drei wird geschossen. Der Gegner steht dort. Danke. Good luck, Roy. It's just a little scratch. I was hunting in Germany. Oh. I'll see you at dinner. Right ho. Good. See you later. Say, why aren't you getting dressed? Aren't you coming to meet Helen? Oh, yes, but don't remind me of it. Don't be foolish. She expects us for tea. Tea? Listen, it'll do you good to meet a nice girl. Oh, well, all right, but first we've got to get you dressed. Hey, we've got to get him dressed. He's going to see a girl. No, no, oh, wait a minute now. You, listen, right. I've got to have my oh, shirt. Listen, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, listen, I'm yeah, old enough yeah, to dress yeah, myself. No, you're not. But you cut it out. Hey, listen, would you please? Hey, my green socks! Is Helen in? Miss Helen is not at home, sir. She's expecting us. Would you care to wait? Yes, thank you. Fine reception.
Roy. Maybe she's forgotten. Not Helen. She's not that sort. Oh. Boy, I feel sick. I, I think I'd better go. Monty, will you sit down? Oh, I've got an awful headache. I think I'll go to the chemist and get something for it. Monty. Roy. Helen. Oh, terribly sorry. Mother's fall shopping. I simply flew. My isn't it hot? You shouldn't have hurried so. Oh, but I wanted to. Roy, you've no right to look so cool. I'm broiling. Theo. Yes, you are, aren't you? No, not one. Well, you're so marvelous, I, I hardly dare. Oh, silly. Well, that's better. Cigarette, Roy? I thought your brother was coming. Went out with a headache. Poor boy, it must be the heat. They've done it. I never thought they would. I still can't believe it. Well, it must be true. It's official. Oh, shut up. I'm trying to think. It's terrible. Carl, you won't have to go, will you? Me? Oh, Roy, I hope not. Oh, they can't want me. I'm not a soldier. What use would I be to them? I couldn't kill anyone. They couldn't make me do that, could they, Roy? Oh, I think it'll all be over in a couple of weeks. I'm not so sure. I wouldn't worry about it. Then suppose England comes in. Why, well, Roy, that'd be horrible. I never could do that. Why, well, I love England. Oh, will you shut up? Monty. Germany's declared war on France. Hmm? Oh, oh Roy. How do you spell ecstatic? Hmm? Special delivery letter for Carl Arnstead. What's the matter, Carl? Someone ill? Carl. May I ask the Prime Minister if he has any information he can give us today? Our ambassador at Berlin received his passport at 7 o'clock last evening. And since 11 o'clock last night, a state of war has existed between Germany and ourselves. Seven? What time? Seven and a half. What do you want? 38. Uh, I, I'm afraid it's a bit small, sir. Yeah? Move along there, move along. You'll grow into it. Slow. Hans? Come on there, come on. Present. Hans? Give it to him, you bloody fool. Hey, what's wrong with you? Sleeping sickness? 
Here, here. Let go of that gun, you clinging vine. Let go, do you? God, you're enough to turn a man's stomach. Hey, you with the fallen arches. I've enlisted money in the Royal Flying Corps. You're a fool, Roy. Oh, really? How did happen? My grandfather was in the garden during the revolution. Oh, he was? Oh, Roy, you look marvelous in uniform. Thank you. Doesn't he? It's ripping. Well. Tell me, what have you joined? Uh, the infantry? No, the Royal Flying Corps. Oh, of course. Isn't it a shame? And all the misery in this world has been caused by and for capitalism. Why should we fight this war? For capitalism? You will die! You will die! All your sons will die! For capitalism! Down with capitalism! Down with war! Down with the anarchists! That's You're right! Timmy! There's the man I'd like to kiss. What's the matter? Afraid of a kiss? Maybe he's yeller. Go on, you. Go in and fought for your country. Let her. Yeah. Say, listen, be more cheerful. You have a treat in store meeting, Helen. Must be Friday the 13th. Gee, I, I wonder if she'll wear her canteen uniform. If she does, you can count me out. Oh, she looks stunning at it. Who wants to be stunned? I'm only going as a favor to you. You and I don't like the same kind of girl. <laughs> Hurry up, will you? Oh, it's a waste of time to polish these. She'll probably step all over them the first dance anyway. <laughs> Safer to sit in a quiet little corner and have a chat about votes for women. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Whose window are you wobbling under tonight? Lady Randolph's charity ball. What's your neck? Come along. Oh, but I haven't. I haven't been invited. That's all right. I'm on the committee. No, I don't think I'll go. A smart boy. <laughs>
Well, then she should be here by this time. How do you do, sir? There she is. Don't point, it's rude. Oh, Helen. Roy. Hello. Hello, old thing. You're frightfully late. I was afraid you weren't coming. Oh, Helen, this is Monty. How do you do? How do you do? Well, that's done at last. You know, you two have been avoiding each other for weeks. Helen, may I have this next dance? Uh, of course. Oh, there you are. You need to Lady Randolph. I must say you take your duties on my committee very nicely. Where have you been? You completely disarranged my program. There are no end of things to be done. Helen, dear, you don't mind, do you? Come along, Roy, come along. I'm, I'm sorry, Helen. Uh, Monty, oh. would you take this next dance with Helen? Oh, how do you do, Monty? How do you do? Now, come along. The dance I really must go and find uh, uh, Jimmy Kerrigan. He has something most important to tell me. I... Who is this Jimmy Kerrigan? Kerrigan? I've never heard of him. Just now, I was thinking of Marty. Do you like him? Yes, I like him. He's a marvelous dancer. Well, Marty does all those things well. Hello. What? May I? Having a better time than you expected, Monty? Marvelous. Been dancing with a beautiful brunette, name of Eleanor. She's perfect. Oh, Eleanor Madden. You don't really think she's beautiful? Kitty, 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 kitty. Stop it, I'm not a cat. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, if I'm a kitty, I'm a thirsty kitty. Roy, dear, would you please get me a glass of fun? Well, of course I will. No, I'll go, Roy. No, I'm the committee. You stay here, look after this wallflower. <laughs> but really, I... You'd rather not. Well, I, I didn't mean. Don't you like wallflowers? I shouldn't have done that. Oh, you're not sorry, Marty. Awfully sorry. I had no right to. What if I'm glad? But what about Roy? Isn't that my business? I suppose so, but... but Hush. Really... Compliments to the committee. Thanks awfully, Roy. Well, has he been properly charming? Me? More than charming. Good for you, Marty.
She loves me. <laughs> she blisters you. It's worth it. Is she worth it? Depends on who she is. Hello. Hello. Well, thank goodness Lady Randolph's lost sight of me for a minute. Roy, you've been neglecting me shamefully. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You see, it's this beastly committee. Lady Randolph won't let me alone a minute. Oh, Roy, there you are. Yes, Sir Roy. Do you yeah. mind? Where is that list? Uh, would you mind finding Sir John for me? It's about my canteen unit. I must have the Queen's signature. So important. My dear, why don't you get into your uniform? You look so pretty in it. And, Monty, shouldn't you dance with Mary Blunt? Yes, why and don't Roy, you? Roy, Roy, well, you found Sir John? I want you to leave the barn dance for me. And really, there are so many things you've got to do. You yes, I'm, for one I'm moment. terribly sorry. Uh, back soon. You see those girls that I know, but let me run off. I suppose. So, you've really joined Lady Liz's canteen unit. Rather, chance of a lifetime. We go to France in two weeks. Two weeks? Well, Roy says you're sailing the 15th. That's all. Tired. Take me home, Monty. Home? It's not far. I've taken a flat in town near canteen headquarters. I mean, Roy will be quite upset to find you gone. That's what he gets for being on committee. What really? Very well, I'll find someone else. Oh, I didn't mean to be rude. Well, come on then. Are we here? Well, it's number 27. Want to come up for a cigarette and a drink? Oh, really? You must be awfully tired. No, I'm not. Come see my room. I've only had a place of my own for a week. The new toy. What a baby you are. Ali up. All right. Well, this is jolly. Sit down and I'll get you a drink. Thanks. Say when. Oh, when, when? Would you be shocked if I put on something more comfortable? I'll try to survive. Well, are you more comfortable now? Yes. Are you? Oh, yes. You know, it seems strange being here like this after hearing Roy rave about you for months. Does Roy rave? Oh, rather. He idolizes you. Oh, I do wish he wouldn't. It makes me feel guilty. I can understand his raving now. Oh, don't be silly. You're not a bit like Roy, are you? I should say not. Roy is frightfully high-minded. He doesn't approve of me. He wouldn't approve of me either if he knew what I'm really like. Doesn't he know? No. When I'm with Roy, I'm the way Roy wants me to be. That's caddish, isn't it? But I can't help it. I understand. 
Roy wouldn't. May I ask you a very personal question? Yes. Yeah. Do you love Roy? No, not really. Not the way Roy wants me to love him. I can't. Roy's love means marriage and children and never anyone but Roy. I couldn't bear that. I want to be free. I want to be gay and have fun. Life's short and I want to live while I'm alive. I know that. That's the way I feel too. I... I think I'd better go. Must you? I really should. Paul. Cold in here now, isn't it? Have you a match? Why so gloomy? I'm rotten. I can't see it. Can't you? Well, then you're rotten, too. What do you mean? And Roy worships you. You! Well? Don't you make yourself sick. You and Roy. God, that's funny. Get out of here. Don't worry, I can't get out fast enough. Get out! And stay out! Where have you been? Oh, I, uh, I stopped at a, at a bar after I took Helen home. Oh. How'd you like her? Oh, she's all right. Passing a crowd, eh? I dare say she would. Just what do you mean by that? Listen, Roy, let me tell you something, even if it hurts. Yes. I wouldn't be so idealistic about Helen if I were you. And why not? Well, I... I just wouldn't, that's all. Well, why not? Oh, I don't know. Forget it. Never mind crawling. Out with it. Listen, Roy, I tell you, women are all the same. You look at every woman as a barmaid. You don't know anything about decent women. Oh, all right. You know it all, then. No, oh, you've said enough. Shut up.
Moment. Ausgezeichnet. In 15 Minuten sind wir bereits da. Schon? Ja. Er soll die Kasse ansehen. Ja, von ihm hängt alles ab. Ciao. 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 Super schnell. Du siehst die Kasse. Super schnell. Und genau. Informieren Sie ihn gut. Selbstverständlich. Karl, wir kommen hier die Tente hinauf nach London hinein. Und das Ziel ist Trafalgar Square, das Herz von London. Alle Bomben müssen möglichst in nächste Umgebung sitzen. Da liegt die Exchange und die City Hall. Passen Sie auf. Haben Sie gehört, was ich gesagt habe? Ja. Kapitän, wir sind da. Halt, halt! Karl, Ziel genau und äh, ruhig Blut. Unser Erfolg hängt vollkommen von deiner Genauigkeit ab. Wir Glück. Karl. Genug, genug. Karl, diesmal müssen wir schaffen. Ganz London müssen wir in die Luft blasen. Diese Nacht dürfen die Engländer nie vergessen. Mach's gut, Karl. Fertig. Los. Viel Glück. Danke. Bye. Good luck, Roy. Bye. 
Thief Canoop. Get out of the house, weiter. Halbe Kraft voraus. Halbe Kraft voraus. Licht, halbe Kraft voraus. Perfect. Schuss direkt auf der Falge Square. Beital, sehr fein. Six Bomben. Six Bomben. Six Bomben. Schuss genau auf. Ausgezeichnet. Bomben! Jawohl, Kapitän! Alle Bomben! Derby Chiffon, total for a next step. Ah, famous car! Halbe Kraft voraus! Halbe Kraft voraus! Wie viel? 1200. 1200. 
mit? Was denken Sie davon? Unsere Motoren laufen alle äußerste Kraft. Wir steigen nur 10 Grad und machen nicht mehr als 50 Knoten. Was ist denn los damit? Ja, der Luftwiderstand von dem Beobachterkorb und den 2000 Meter Kabel vermindern unsere Fahrt um mindestens 15 Knoten. So? Ganz sicher? Absolut.
Komm nun, Fritz, wir sind unserem Komm nun! Just our luck. Lucky we weren't both killed. Well, we're through. Herr Kapitän, es sind keine feindlichen Sieger mehr zu sehen. Anscheinend haben wir die alle abgeschossen. Ah, das war voll die Arbeit, mein Lieber. Ah, ja. <lacht>
Just a minute. Why the blazes don't you look where you're going, sir? I'm sorry, sir. Isn't it customary to salute one superior officer? Thank you. What is your name, sir? Lieutenant Roy Rutledge. Make a note of that. Yes, sir. They are, they glisten in the sun. What the hell are you trying to do? It took me three hours for right now. You're nothing but a pest anyhow. Oh, Sit down. Down. Have a little fun. You shouldn't smoke so many. What difference does it make? You know it's bad for you. Buy a chocolate, miss. Change, miss. Please. That's a good boy. What a life it would be married to you. Oh, you don't fancy it? Beastly, no smokes. Think of all the money we'd save. What would we spend it on? Oh, a diamond dog collar. For me? No, I'd buy a muzzle for you. You wouldn't spoil my beautiful mustache, would you? No. We'd keep that in the parlor under glass. Hello, Helen. Oh, hello, Roy. Roy, I'd like you to meet Captain Redfield, Lieutenant Rutledge. How do you do? How do you do? Beastly weather. Yes, isn't it? You'll get used to it. Thanks. Gee, it's great to see you again, Helen. It's been four whole days. Really? Have you been over long? Three weeks. Oh. Three weeks. Everything all right up your way? Oh, yes. The squadron near here? 20 miles up the line. 20 miles? That far? You chaps have it rather soft, haven't you? You think so? Oh, well, I mean to say, being able to dash about the countryside and all that. Wish I'd picked the RFC. Well, why didn't you? Roy. Well, I must be going. Oh, don't go. I think I'd better. Goodbye, Helen. And don't forget your promise. I won't. Who's that bag of wind? Would you mind not talking about my friends like that? Oh, now, Helen, please. Oh, you are perfectly beastly to him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Guess my nerves are a bit raw. Things haven't been so easy this last week. Oh, you've been fighting? Did you shoot down any Bosch? Yes, I managed to get a couple. Really? How thrilling. Tell me about it. Well, there's really nothing much to tell. Three bars of chocolate, miss. Say, sir, it's not soup, it's soap. Hey, I think it's shoe collar. Right. Sorry, sir. 
cook said the soup was a bit weak tonight. Maybe you taste the disinfectant in the water, sir. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> well, scratch me blind as a hair. Wash it off and wear it, Baldy. <laughs> Hello, you chaps. Hello, Molly. How goes it? Still no news of Harry? No. Somebody always gets it on the night patrol. What do you think, Marriott? You saw it happen. Is there any chance he got down alive? No, I don't think so. The searchlights got him. We were flying low and they heard us. We started to climb, but it was too late. Shrapnel began bursting all around him. Two bursts caught him and he started to drop. It was awful to see him down there, twisting and diving, crippled, always dropping, trying every way to get clear of those lights. Then another burst got him. We can hear him scream him off. I can't stand it. Good thing he took your place, Ripley. You might have got it instead of him. Oh, I'll get it sooner or later. We'll all get it. Isn't there any end to this? Oh, shut up. You're always white. Shut up yourself. Who'll make carpet? You. Sit down, Jerry McGuire. All right. What's the you, fellas? Would anybody like to take Monty's place on tonight's patrol? Oh, yeah. 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 No more soup beneath the soup. No more soup beneath the soup. Take four, Jerry. Take four. 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 Take What comes money? <laughs> <laughs> what was doing before you dropped it, James? <laughs> a tasty bit of salmon, sir. Oh, sewer trout again? Hasn't the cook anything else? Well, sir, there's, there's that tin of pork and beans. No, we don't. <laughs> Can he do anything with the garbage? Oh, well, never mind. We all know. We all know. <laughs> Coffee, James? Yes, sir. And James? Yes, sir. Don't let anything hurry you. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty liar! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the sooner you get shot down, the better. Oh, oh <laughs> Now that didn't hurt, Following officers will report for night patrol. Drayton. Yes, sir. Pull up. Yes, sir. Maloney. Oh, no, not an old bald-headed <laughs> man like me up there in the cold, cold air. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps Fritz will warm it up for you. <laughs> Nibble. Yes, sir. Monty Rutledge. Monty Rutledge. I don't feel very well tonight, sir. That's all right, boy. None of us feel well. But you don't understand. I think I do, Rutledge. But I say, sir, you don't understand that there seems to be something the matter with me. I know what's the matter with him. He's yellow. Oh, oh shut up. Oh, yeah. let's say it. No. Didn't Harry go west last night because he took this man's place? Be quiet. Sir. I'll not keep quiet. He's yellow and we all know it. That's a lie. I'm not yellow. I can see things as they are, that's all. And I'm sick of this rotten business. You fools, why do you let him kill you like this? What are you fighting for? Patriotism. Duty. Are you mad? Can't you see they're just words? Words coined by politicians and profiteers to trick you into fighting for them. What's a word compared with life, the only life you've got? I'll give them a word. Murder! That's what this dirty rotten politician's war is. Murder, you know it as well as I do. Yellow, am I? You're the ones that are yellow. I've got guts to say what I think. You're afraid to say it. So afraid of being called yellow, you'd rather be killed first. You fools, you poor, stupid fools. Oh, Molly, now pull yourself together, will you? Turn up, Rutledge. I've taken a lot of shouting from you since we came out here, but this is a bit too much. Sure, he really is ill. You're a disgrace to your squadron. Go to your quarters. Yes.
Have a cigarette. You don't think I'm yellow, do you, Roy? Well, of course not. You're just more sensitive than the rest of us. I wonder. Well, stop thinking about it. I wish I could. Haven't I been up twice on the night patrol? I'm trying to do my share. Of course you are now. You... You must be pretty well fed up with me after all this. Oh, that's rot. I'm not yellow. I'm not! Oh, now, Monty, come on. Pull yourself together. Staff Colonel, everybody out. Come on, Monty. Stand easy. Well, men, I don't like what I have to say, but let's face it. You all know the central munition dump at Sprague. You've tried three times to bomb that depot without success. No fault of yours, of course. They've guarded it too closely. That munition depot at Sprague must be destroyed tomorrow morning. Now then. Today, a German bombing plane was forced down within our lines. We were lucky enough to capture it before they had a chance to destroy it. We fixed it up so it will fly. And we want to use this plane to bomb the Sprague depot. There's no question that the venture will succeed this time. The enemy won't suspect one of their own planes until after the depot is bombed. Then, when they discover the trick, well, you, you may have a little difficulty in getting back. I need two men to fly this plane. I'll go, sir. Are you sure you want to go? Quite sure, sir. Very well. I'll go with him, sir. Who are these men? Lieutenant Sponty and Roy Rutledge, sir. Brothers, eh? Dismiss. Now, young men. I want you to realize how important this is. The 7th Brigade has been ordered to go over the top in a surprise attack tomorrow evening at dusk. The Brigade doesn't know it, but I, I'm afraid they're going to be slaughtered. There's too much artillery in front of us. If you destroy that munition depot early tomorrow morning, it will weaken the enemy artillery and we may be able to get through. Hundreds of lives depend on you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, another thing. The plane you are to fly is far too dangerous a piece of armament to let the enemy recapture it. It must return or be destroyed. If you were captured, you'd be shot as spies anyway. Baldy. Oh, Baldy. You'll take the morning patrol in towards Sprague as far as you can. You might possibly help them get back. By all means. Yes, sir. You will get your maps and final instructions just before taking off. Report to the field at 3 a.m. Until then, let them do as they please. Yes, sir. Three o'clock, you two. Yes, yes sir. sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. What time is it, Monty? Ten past nine. Helen's canteen closes at ten. We've just enough time to get there. You think they'll let us have the motorcycle? Oh, of course. We're it tonight. Yeah, we're it, all right. Not sorry, are you? Oh, let's not talk about it. I'm not even going to think about it until 3 o'clock. <laughs> What's your program? Wine, women, and song? Oh, perhaps I'll do without the song tonight. <laughs> See you at Brosons? Either there or Jack's across the street, wherever you hear the most noise. You don't you want to come in with me to see Helen? Oh, I better not. Better not. Uh, right, though. Where's Helen? She's gone out. Oh. Was she expecting you? No. Would you care to leave a note? Yes, I think I will. Pen and ink on the table.
You'll see if she gets this. Oh, yes. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Hello, what's up? She isn't in. That's tough. You want to come along with me? Where to? Grossens. Right off. You switch on. Get out of here. Come oh, on. let's have it out. I don't love you. I never have. I never had any fun with you anyway, you and your high ideals. You're too good to live. You're just a stupid prig if you ask me. You make me sick. Do you hear? Sick? No, get out of here. I hate the sight of you. Come on, Roy. Let's go across the street. Forget it. Is your friend sick? <laughs> no, he'll be all right. Drink up, Roy. I still can't believe it. You just don't know anything about women. They're all the same. I've been telling you that for years. Maybe you'll believe me now. Oh, Helen's not that sort. Oh, nonsense. The war, she's changed. Oh, you're wrong, Roy. 
War doesn't change people. It's like getting drunk. It brings out what people really are. You can't make me believe Helen was like that before. Well, she was. I've known it all along. You too? Oh, I'm sorry, Roy. <laughs> Don't take it so hard. She isn't worth it. I suppose you're right. Of course I'm right. Listen, Roy. Never love a woman. Just make love to her. You see? Like this. Look. We come sir, Go ahead, Roy. Try it. That's the way. Listen, Monty. Monty, go easy. We gotta go up at three o'clock. Oh, listen, Roy. The hell with this three o'clock business. What do you mean? Just act the hell with it. Say, you're crazy, Monty. We can't get out of it now. Oh, why can't we? Say, hey, listen, Roy. All this idealistic stuff won't get you anywhere. You tried it on Helen, and what happened? You got a kick in the face. You can't go through life thinking the way you do. People take advantage of you and make a fool of you the way she did. You're getting to look as though you're right. Of course I'm right. I was right about Helen, and now I'm right about this three o'clock business, too. This is another thing entirely, Monty. Why is it? They're just taking advantage of you in another way, that's all. There's chaps like you that are meat for them. All they gotta do is make it sound heroic, and you fall for it. Uh, listen, Roy. What's the difference if we don't go? But... We can't get out of it now. Oh, why can't we? Listen, tell them. Uh, tell them the motorcycle broke down. Tell them anything. What do you say, Roy? Well. Go oh, on. Oh, baby. N'est-ce pas? Oh, mais oui, oui, madame. Oh, baby. Oh, stop looking at your watch, Roy. You're not going anywhere. Yes, I am, and so are you. Ah, yes, I am. We're a little drunk, and we've been talking wildly. There's no way out of this, and we know it. Come on, Monty. Oh, no, no. Let, let me alone. Come on, old la la. Oh, wait, Monty, Sherry. Monty! Why, well, they'd court-martial us in a minute if we didn't show up. Why, that's desertion, Monty. They shoot people for that. Come on. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on. I suppose you're right. What a pair of fools. Ah, hey, Let's go. Easy. Look out for the firing pin. Right out. I got it. Contactors. All right. Just for all the ground speed here. Keep this light train on the target. Then for the release, we hit the stop. You understand? Don't forget the level there. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Morgen. Morgen, mein Freund. Klar. Ich steh's. Fein, fein. Come on. 
angegriffen. Hallut, Hallut! Perle Katastrophe! Sie müssen aber riesige Gründe dazu gehabt haben. Sprengung des Munitionsdepots hat eine große Attacke zu bedeuten. Ganz gewiss, Exzellenz. Hauptquartier, die zwei Engländer gefangen genommen. Danke, Schloss. Exzellenz, wir müssen die Angriffspläne der Engländer herausfinden. Nun, Exzellenz, die zwei Engländer zur Stelle. Schön, reinbringen. Zu Befehl, Exzellenz. Tier zu. Zu Befehl, Exzellenz. Eintreten. Again. It was you who bombed the depot at Sprauk, nicht wahr? Yes. And you were flying a German plane, nicht wahr? Yes. Very clever. It is a pity you must take your congratulations from me. There are a few questions I must ask you. If you answer them simply, it will be easy for you. To what squadron of the Royal Flying Corps are you attached? Just why were you sent to bomb that munition depot this morning? It was our natural target. But possibly it was to clear the way for a little surprise attack. Eh? Ah, you are surprised. We know all about it. So you need not be afraid to talk. Now, please, when and where is the attack to be made? Oh, you are stupid not to tell. It is nothing. For you, the war is over, nicht wahr? We are friends. Mm. Listen. If you tell me, I will see that you are sent to a special camp reserved only for certain prisoners of war. It is near Munich. Far away from all this. You will have every comfort. And then a few months from now, when the war is over, you will be alive and in good health. Which is more than most of us will be able to say. So you see, it can be easy for you. Now, please. So, you will not tell. Possibly you do not know that flying a German plane is the same as wearing a German uniform. Any disguised soldier is a spy, Mr. R. And you know what happens to spies. I think you two friends had better talk it over. I will give you 15 minutes. If you change your mind and tell, good. If not, you will be shot. So tell it, Zurück. Abtreten. Du bist nicht gewinnt. Abtreten. Do you think he was bluffing? No, he wasn't bluffing. He's a man I was to fight that duel with. Really? Quite a coincidence. He's got it in for me. Ah, oh, he's probably forgotten it by this time. The brigade will be going over pretty soon, won't he? Yes. Oh, 
Why, look. I'll save it, I'll wipe your nose on. I'm going to tell. Don't be a fool, Marty. Do you realize what it would mean if we told? It would mean being alive when this bloody war's over. But, Marty, you can't. What the hell with your heroic stuff? I want to live. I'm not going to be shot down like that. I'm going to tell. So wait a minute, Marty. But I... Yes. Let me go. You? Yes. You're all upset. I bargained with him. And perhaps I won't have to tell him everything. I'll come with you. No. You said he's got it in for you. Now let me do it alone. All right. Tell the general I'm ready to talk. Good, come. Glaube with the attack in here, Excellenz. Wirklich, aber dieses Terrain hier. Die Hauptsache ist die Zeit der Attacke, Excellenz. Die Zeit der Attacke müssen wir haben. Nun, Excellenz, eine Drängende wünscht Excellenz zu sprechen. Ah, oh, yes. jetzt kommt raus. Reinbringen. Zu Befehl, Excellenz. Danke, meine Herren. Zu Befehl, Excellenz. Eintreten. So you have changed your mind? Yes. My friend will never tell. But I want to live. I'm ready to talk. You are very wise. Now, please, draw a rough map for me showing your positions, brigade numbers, this position, hour of attack, purpose, number of men. Wait a minute. I'll tell only on one condition. Uh, so a condition? Yes. If I give this information, my friend will know it. Back home after the war, he'll tell everyone that I was a traitor. You leave that to me. Why not let me have that satisfaction? What do you mean? I do not understand. One does not kill a friend. Friend? He's not my friend. He stole the girl I love and I hate him. Huh. History repeats itself. You make rather hard terms. I'll tell only on that condition. One bullet. What if I miss? Give me two to make sure. No. A good soldier will need only one. Very well. Not so fast. Lieutenant, give Sie dem Carol these magazines draußen. To the Felix Lentz? He will give you the bullet outside. I didn't tell, Monty. Why, what happened? Has he changed his mind? No. Don't you think you can go through with it now? 
What do you mean? Oh, of course we can. It won't even hurt. It'll all be over in a second. We can stand anything for a second. No, no, Roy, I, I, I can't do it. I'm going to tell. Well, Mr. Monty, we tell the whole brigade will be wiped out. 3,000 men, and they all want to live, too. You wouldn't spoil their chances, would you? Well, that's not my business. I didn't start this war. I didn't get them into this mess. Let them take care of themselves. They'll get wiped out sooner or later anyway. I want to live. Live. You won't tell what I'll tell. Listen, Monty. I'll tell. Monty. I'll tell. Listen. Let's be honest. I'll tell everything I know. The brigade is moving up. They're going to attack me. General. You, you thought we'd tell, didn't you? Good old Roy. He won't tell, and I. We've forgotten it all. Roy. Roy. Yes? Where are you? Don't go away, Roy. Come here, Monty. Can't you feel me holding you? Hello, Carl. Big Gates. Cold up here in the night patrol. Awful up here in the dark. Oh, I'm afraid. Look out! Look out! We're falling! We're gonna crash! Do something, Roy! Wait! 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 It's all right, Monty. Monty! It's all right. Monty! Monty! Well, you heard what my brother said. Your brother? I'll never tell you anything. You just put it on the gefangen, excellent. Leider bleibt uns nichts anderes übrig. Exzellenz, haben wir Informationen? Gar nichts. Exzellenz, ich dachte, es ist alles abgemacht. Ich dachte auch. Die Engländer sind eine tapfere Nation. Zum Teufel mit den Engländern! Wir müssen Informationen herausbekommen. So, links up. Das ist ab. 
be with you in just a minute, Monty. Hier. Das ist der Angriff. Ich will englische Truppen in großer Anzahl treiben an. Hallo, Hauptquartier, Hauptquartier, Hauptquartier. Raus, die Karte. 